everybody and welcome to Rocco Baby Crochet. A massive warm welcome back to all my regular viewers and subscribers. It's so lovely to have you here and thank you for supporting the channel. Massive warm welcome to anybody who's just found the channel for the first time. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, stick around and consider subscribing which will mean that you won't miss out on my next video or pattern and it will also support Rocco Baby Crochet as well. In this quick stitch tutorial we're going to be learning the beautiful linen stitch. Now this has got a couple of names, I call it the linen stitch simply because that's what it was called when it was taught to me but it's also known as the moss stitch and the granite stitch. There's absolutely no difference between the three, it just happens to have three names this stitch. So that's something that's worth being aware of from the beginning. It's a really simple stitch which has a really subtle but beautiful texture to it, very beginner friendly. The only stitches you'll need to know how to make a foundation chain, a UK double crochet and a chain one. Now this stitch can look completely different depending on what type of yarn you use. This sample here that I've made up is a chunky yarn but I've also made it in an Aran yarn here which is exactly the same pattern but you can see because the yarn is finer so is the detail in the stitch work and then I've also made a little sample up. I'm working on a pattern for a jumper and because this stitch creates a beautiful drape to the fabric that it makes this is a really nice stitch to use when you are making wearables so scarves, jumpers, cardigans, things like that. So I was playing around with a couple of colours so you can see what it looks like when you do every row at a different colour. So I've used grey, purple and white here and it really highlights the post of these double crochets and just makes them pop out a little bit more. Self striping yarns also look really nice in this stitch because again it highlights the post of the double crochet in each stitch and the texture just seems to pop out a little bit more than if you use a solid colour like I have done in the first two samples. All you'll need for this tutorial is your chosen yarn. I tend to go up two hook sizes so if I'm using a double knit yarn that recommends a four millimeter hook I'll go up to a five millimeter hook. Now I do crochet with tight tension so it's worth playing around with this. If you have a looser tension you may only need to go up one hook size to a 4.5 millimeter. If your work isn't lying flat when you rest it down it could be that you need to just move up another hook size and allow a bit more space for these stitches to sit in between the chain one spaces. A stitch marker is also quite handy if you're new to crochet so what I like to do is put a stitch in the first and the last stitch of every row and that helps us to keep this lovely straight edge so we're not losing any stitches at all. Our stitch count remains the same and we've got a lovely neat edge as well. So grab your hooks, grab your yarn, grab a cuppa and let's learn this stitch together. In, you want to make a slip knot and just pop that onto your hook and the foundation chain for the linen stitch can be as long as you want it to be as long as it's an even number so I'm just going to do a really small sample here and I'm going to chain 12 so I'm going to yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through but you make your foundation chain as long as you want your width of your project to be and then if you want to press pause while you go ahead and do that and then come back to me when you're ready to move up to row one but like I said I'm just doing a really small sample here so I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so if you are a regular on this channel you'll know that my preferred method of working into a foundation chain is to crochet into these back loops here that run down the back of the foundation chain. So over the years for me I've worked out that the neatest finish that I get when I do a project using the linen stitch is by working into the chain from the front and not only going onto just this one loop but picking up two loops that make up the chain. So I'm going underneath two of the three strands of yarn that make up the chain. So to begin we want to start in the second chain from the hook remembering that this yarn that's on my hook is the working yarn and doesn't count as a stitch. Here's my first chain and here's my second chain. So I'm going to insert my hook from front to back 
underneath two of the strands of yarn that make up that chain. I'm going to pull up a strand of yarn. So I've got two loops on my hook at this point. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Now if you are newer to crochet, it's an idea to pop a stitch marker in the top of this very first double crochet we've just made. That'll help you keep your stitch count the same throughout your project as you move up the rows and it'll also help to keep your edges nice, neat and in a straight line. So next what we need to do is we're going to chain one, so yarn over and pull through. And then we're going to skip a chain on the foundation chain and move into the next chain along and we're going to place another UK double crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook from front to back underneath two of the strands of yarn that make up the chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Then I'm going to chain one again. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through, skip a chain and into the next chain along, place another UK double crochet, US single crochet, chain one, skip one and work into the next chain and place another UK double crochet, and we're just going to repeat that all the way along. So chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. Now because I'm just doing a small sample piece that brings me to the end of my foundation chain. But if you want to pause this tutorial while you make your way along and press play when you come to moving up and we can do that together. But because my piece is so small I've just reached the end of my first row and your work should be looking a little bit like this now. So to move up to row two you're going to chain one and turn your work. So so row two and row three are the repeat rows that we repeat over and over to form the linen stitch. So this tutorial is all time stamps so make the most of those time stamps on the bottom and flick between the two if you need a little bit of help remembering what we do for each row. But for row two what we're going to do is we've chained one, this is a turning chain and won't count as a stitch. We're going to work into our very first stitch which is here and we're going to place a UK double crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook from front to back underneath both strands of yarn that make up the top of that stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops and then that brings us to one of our chain spaces that we made in row one and I'm going to place a UK double crochet in there. So I'm going to insert my hook into that chain one space, yarn over and pull up a loop two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. Then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to skip this double crochet here and into this next chain one space I'm going to place another double crochet. So insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. Chain one, skip the double crochet and work my next double crochet into the chain space of row one. And we'll just work that all the way along, chaining one and placing a double crochet into the chain space. And when you come to your last chain space that you're going to work into for row two and you've placed that double crochet, what we need to do in this very last stitch is just place another double crochet. So we're not chaining up an extra one in between these two stitches. And that's the end of row two. So for row three, which is the second part of this row repeat, for the linen stitch you're going to chain one and turn your work. Again, this chain one doesn't count as a stitch, it's just a turning chain. So we're going to place our first stitch into this first double crochet here. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And then we'll chain one skip the double crochet below and work into the chain space of row two which is just here inserting your hook pulling up a loop yarning over pull through both loops chain one skip the double crochet and into the next chain space of row two place another double crochet chain one 
skip the double crochet and pop your hook into that chain one space and place your double crochet chain one skip your double crochet and into that chain one space in row two place your next double crochet chain one and then we skip this double crochet and place our last stitch into the t into the very last stitch of row two which is here sometimes it's a little bit easier if you rotate your work towards you a little bit and you'll see the two strands of yarn that make up the top of that stitch and it's underneath those two strands of yarn that you're going to be placing your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops so that's row two and three completed and they're the repeat rows that you're going to repeat over and over and over until your project reaches the size that you want it to be at so for my next one i'm going to chain one turn my work and i'm going to start with row two again so i'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop and place a double crochet and then i'm going to move into my chain one space which is next to it and place a double crochet into there and then I'm going to start the repeat pattern for this row of chain one skip the double crochet and move into the chain one space and place a double crochet and I'll do that all the way along then when I get to the end of this row I'll chain one turn my work and then I'll just repeat row three and it's that simple but it makes a really effective subtle but beautiful textured fabric which is lovely especially like I said for wearables for winter and autumn so that's how easy the linen stitch is it makes a beautiful fabric I really do enjoy it I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial if you do have any questions at all please leave me a comment and I'll try my best to answer it if you have enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to hit the like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next tutorial or free pattern and it will also support Rocco Baby Crochet as well. So I hope you have a great week and a lovely weekend and I'll see you real soon. Take care and happy hooking. Bye! <laughs>